George! George! Uh, Fortune Defies Death is a mystery uh, drama. It's kind of a lot like Clue, but I think it's a lot more edgy. And I think that uh, audiences are really going to enjoy the interaction between characters. Um, so essentially what happens is this family, the Woods family, they all gather together in this um, cabin in the woods to hear the last will and testament of their um, patriarch, George Woods, who's died like 10 years earlier. Um, they're all there, they're all a little bit greedy, and they're all kind of wanting to get a piece of the money. Damn lawyer asked me a bunch of questions like I'm a criminal. If Nadia's not gonna get her cut, then we don't need to be here. Yeah, I agree. But the problem is, is that George's adopted daughter, Mona, has been missing. Uncle George obviously hoped Mona would have turned up by now. It's been more than 10 years since Mona disappeared. I once believed she might have gone looking for her mother. I'm not so sure anymore. And so this is really George's way of finally finding out what happened to Mona. If the majority believes Mona is indeed dead, move on to envelope number two. If this is not the consensus, reconvene in 10 years hence for the continuation of this reading. <laughs> <laughs> there is no way I'm waiting another 10 years. I could be dead. Oh. Please make your decision considering Mr. Wood's precise instructions, dead or alive. Well, there's a lot of really good parts, but I think the interaction between um, characters as the secrets start to come out, because to clarify, the, these individuals, even though they're family members, they're not really close. And so there's a lot of drama in between them. They have a lot of dirty secrets that all start coming out, and I think that as the characters play off one another, and this is one of the great things about this movie, you really get a sense of people who, who don't like each other, but they are sort of bound to each other by blood and by this money that they're all trying to get. He was my brother. Hey, I'm blood too. We're all blood. The actor's name is Mike Malucci, who plays Charlie. And I had an opportunity to meet Mike, and you know, we talked a little bit about Charlie and the development of his character. So, who is this guy? Um, Charlie is basically the spark in the movie. He's the one who sort of uh, gets the ball rolling. So if you imagine you're at a party with a bunch of people and it's sort of a boring party, Charlie's the guy who's going to come around and really sort of liven up the party and get people to interact and respond. Lots of great old photos around here. Right, Brenda? Please behave yourself, Charlie. Ah. Uh. That's no fun. I think this gathering is going to be even better than the party. Thanks for hosting us, Brenda. <laughs> Charlie's also the guy who's bringing a lot of the dirt on a lot of the family members, so he's really getting everyone to drop their defenses. Thanks for your help on the side of the road. Sure. But just so you know, I've gathered everybody's dirt. So? So, get ready for the Woods family who done it Wheel of Fortune. Another character who I really like is Catherine. I don't know why you called me back for more of this interrogation nonsense. What next? Waterboarding? I told you all I know, Mr. P. Catherine is um, very well, a very feisty, um, very interesting character who is flawed. I can tell you who's Casper. In a lot of ways, in that she feels like she has received sort of the raw end of the stick in a lot of different situations in her life. And now she's come to this particular um, will, hoping to get money so that she can get her life back on track. And that really provides a lot of drama between her and the other characters. I think I deserve some of your share. I think, I think every time a writer sits down to write something, his own personal experience or her own personal experiences really have to come to play. And again, we've gone too far discussing issues that are irrelevant. But we can't let Scott get away with this. There's too much at stake. I think, yeah, in some terms, uh, I want to be a person who is the one who gets people to reveal their true Everybody selves, their true intentions. I think that's one of the reasons why I 
like to write because I like to script how people react and interact with each other. 